we are going to see about the gross tons. The gross tons are called as GRT or GT. One must be wondering why we call this as tons. We are not going to measure the weight. You got to remember that we actually measure the volume. So that's GRT or GT. Now why this is called as registered tons? According to the 1967 tonnage rules, one registered ton is equal to, I'll just use the other color, 100 cubic feet. That's the unit. They haven't converted this towards the SI unit. So right from 1967, according to the tonnage rules, one registered ton is 100 cubic feet. That's the unit we are going to use now. Now let's understand this much further. What is this 100 cubic feet? Now, this is a square and the three dimension of it is cube. Here it is. Alright, so if every side of the square is going to be 1 meter, then it is called as 1 cubic meter or 1 meter cube. In the same manner, if we have every side of this cube to be 100 feet then it is called as 100 cubic feet that's it so actually what we are going to do with respect to this gross tonnage is or gross tonnage is let's assume this to be the cargo hold we're going to measure how much cubic feet is there inside this cargo hold let's say this is 100 this is 100 100 100 so let's say in this cargo hold we have around 20 into 100 cubic feet so 20 times a box of 100 cubic 100 feet cubes so 20 boxes we are going to have so that's how we measure to enhance it further we can say that it is 2000 cubic feet. Let's assume a cargo hold is 2000 cubic feet. We can call it as 20 registered tons. So the gross tonnage of this particular hold is 20 registered tons. That's how we arrive at the gross tonnage calculation. Now it's time to talk about the actual gross registered tons and net registered tons or the GT and NT. Now let's understand what exactly it is. What does it convey to us? This is a ship. Now the ship has let's say one, two, three, four, four cargo holds and this is the accommodation and bridge and that's the engine room and it's the steering flat. So with respect to the gross registered tons, the total enclosed space available on the ship, let it be anything, any space which the ship encloses inside it is gross registered tons or GRT. That space can be calculated as. So we can say that the cargo hold 4, 3, 2, 1, all these spaces, the forecastle, the engine room, accommodation space, navigation, sharing gear, everything will be accounted in GRT anything which has a volume which can be measured let's say any trunking or any coffer dam everything will be accounted in GRT so with this in mind let's understand what is net tons net tonnage or net registered tons that's the ship and this is the accommodation or something and you have same four cargo holds two three and four now with respect to the net tonnage the main thing is the cargo net cargo carry that's gonna fetch revenue for the ship owner or ship manager so they are worried about the net registered tons of net tonnage that's the revenue earning component so the net tonnage is only the cargo carrying capacity or car cargo holds whatever the volume it has inside it 
and this volume of every cargo hold is measured as registered tons which I said earlier which is one registered ton is 100 feet cube or cubic feet that's how they measure so basically gross tonnage is any enclosed space within the ship or any other normal space which is enclosed inside a ship any any space everything you can account for uh, gross tonnage but when, with respect to the net tonnage you should count only the cargo carrying space however there are some exceptions when it comes to net registered tons these will be listed below this video as an article